So don't freak out, nothing's wrong with your phone. Aloha everyone, this is Max with Asian Geek Squad. Welcome to our day one video with our Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. Today we're going over navigation and customization. So we're going to be covering notifications, tiles, which is previously widgets, applications, quick setting, quick panel, and how to change all of that as well. All right, let's just go ahead and jump right in and get started. Since we're here on the home screen, let's go ahead and switch out our watch face. To do that, all you have to do is press and hold the screen. And from here, you can swipe one of these watch faces. And on the bottom, there's a customized button as well. So for this particular one, you can switch out the second hand color. So you would just rotate your bezel until you find the color that you like. and tap OK. There you go. And other watch faces have more complications, basically a lot more things you can customize, and just use your rotating bezel to select each option. All right, so from your home screen, let's talk about navigation a little bit. Swipe from the left to access your notifications. To go home, push the top key. On the right, these are your tiles. Swipe from the top to access your quick settings, your quick panel and swipe from the bottom to access your applications. All right, so now let's go over each part a little bit more in depth. Before we do that, let me show you how to switch the watch faces on your phone. Just open up your Galaxy wearable application and right here, you'll see watch faces. For the watch faces, depending which one you pick, I think it's a little bit easier to switch it out and customize them on the phone itself. You can just tap customize and they chose to call this complication but basically the different options in customizing each part of the watch face. Complication number one, steps, we'll leave that as steps. Two, battery, leave that as battery. Yeah, we'll just leave that at heart rate. And once you press save, you'll see that it's pretty instant. Access your notification again, just swipe from the left. To dismiss a notification, just swipe from the bottom. There's certain notifications that you can't clear. So for example, new voicemail, you can't clear it unless you, I guess, recheck your voicemail. And to customize the notifications you get on your phone, go ahead and open up the application again, tap on watch settings, and then tap on the first one notifications. The easiest way for me to do this is tap on more on most recent application, and on the top, select allowed on watch. These are the apps that are allowed to send you notifications on your watch. So first toggle these off in case you don't want any of these notifications. All right, so I'm gonna turn off the Samsung text messaging now that we're using Google. Turn off Outlook, and now you can go on to Blocked On Watch. These are the applications that are not allowed to send you notifications. So just scroll down and turn any of these on in case you want to get notifications for your application. And just one more tip about notification is go ahead and scroll down to Advanced Notification Settings. And some of these might apply to you. If you want the screen of the watch to turn on when you receive a notification, go ahead and turn that on. And you can also turn on if you download new applications to automatically turn on notifications. All right, so, so far, watch faces and navigation. Next up, let's go over quick settings. If you swipe from the top, this is called your quick panel, which houses all of your quick settings. And there's a lot of them, and we'll go over them one by one. All right, first one here is bedtime mode. Once you turn it on, it dims your display and also does something else. Let me show you. So once you turn on bedtime mode on your phone, it turns the screen of your phone black and white. So don't freak out, nothing's wrong with your phone. It's just to ease everything on your eyes because you're trying to go to sleep, but you want to check your phone. So everything is in black and white. And you can just turn off bedtime mode. Screen is brightened. And our phone is back in color. Next up is your off button here. You can turn it off or you can also touch sensitivity off or on. Next up here, this is your settings. If you want to customize any of your settings, the one here on the lower left, that is your always on display. Next up, this is your silence, vibrate, and mute. I like to leave mine's on vibrate. Next up is flashlight, just tap that. And then you can also tap the screen again to change the brightness. And just tap the home button when you're done. Upper left, that's do not disturb, and that will sync with your watch. If you don't wanna get any notifications, turn that on. This is brightness, you can change the brightness of your screen. This one here is power saving mode, if you want to conserve the battery. This one here is theater mode, kind of like bedroom mode where you don't get notifications, darkens your screen, but it doesn't 
darken your phone or it doesn't change your phone to black and white. The middle here, that's Wi-Fi. This one is water lock in case you're taking a shower. And if you want to get out of water lock mode, go ahead and just press and hold the home button. Little warning here, shake off the water so the pressure, so the pressure sensor will work. Okay, and let's finish up the last panel. That is airplane mode. This one is find my phone. And that one is location. And the last one we'll talk about here is Bluetooth. These are the earbuds that are currently paired to my device, Buds Live and Buds 2. So I have my Buds Live here. We'll just select that. And now it's connected. If you want to go on a workout and you have some music downloaded, you're good to go. You're connected to your Buds Live. All right, so watch settings, notification, and quick panel with the quick settings. Next up, let's talk about tiles. So these were previously widgets, now we're calling them tiles. This is similar to the watch faces, if you want to just tap and hold. Now you can see all of your tiles. If you want to remove one, go ahead and just tap on that red line. If you scroll all the way to the right, add tiles. We can go ahead and add one of these available tiles back to our watch. Let's go ahead and add steps. All you do is press and hold, and you can move it anywhere. We'll move it towards the front. And when you're done, just tap the home button. So now the new steps should be located right there. Now I'll show you how to do that on the phone. Again, open up the wearable application, and it's right here on the front under tiles. So here are the tiles that we currently have, and that's the step tile that we added. And you can add any of these tiles here on the screen. You can add weather back. And you can just easily reorder by tap and holding and moving it around. And when you're done, just tap save. We didn't show you for the quick panel, it's also here for the quick panel. So here was our first screen, our second screen, and our third screen. And there's three other ones that are available as well, NFC, touch, sensitivity, and volume. If you want to add any of these, just tap and hold and bring it up to your screen. And you can also reorder these. So we can move the water lock all the way to the end. And if you want to remove, tap that red line. So let's go ahead and remove volume again and tap save when you're done. Next up, let's check out our apps. So to access your apps, just swipe from the bottom. And here are all of the apps we currently have installed. Similar to the other ones, you can just tap and hold the screen to reorder the applications. If you want to remove any of them, just tap and hold and you can uninstall the application. You can do this on the phone as well. Reorder application. This is the layout, similar to the watch. If you want to move messaging all the way up. We'll just pin that to the top. And if you want to change some application settings, a few of them do have settings and you can do that here. Now there's a couple of things I do want to show you before I let you guys go. First tap on watch settings, advanced features, and we'll go over the home key. So you can double press and you can switch these for any applications if there's an app that you use often. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and switch this to messages and I'm hoping I select the right messages. Press and hold, wake Bixby or power off menu. I'm going to go ahead and switch mines to power off menu. First up here, double press. Now I can quickly send a message. Next up, let's hold the button and it should be the power off menu. <laughs> All right, guys. So we've covered a lot of things in this video. Navigation, quick settings, widgets slash tiles. If you guys have any questions, leave us a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. We have more videos coming. Thank you guys for watching. Aloha.